Hey, well, I'm making this video because I want to um, end the downward spiral. Um, the last video in the downward spiral was number 14, and that was pretty much when I said that I was getting my power turned back on in a couple days, like a week. Um, so the power was turned back on. November 22nd, and uh, that was wonderful. Amazing. I went six months uh, with no power and no car, and um, four months with no gas. Um, so it was uh, a struggle. It was horrible. Uh, lived purely in survival mode. Little to no help from anybody. Really, no help from my family at all. Uh, rarely ever did anyone help me. That was a friend. Uh, a couple of friends disappeared. Like I never knew them. Uh, as soon as it started to happen, when things go bad, you do absolutely learn who your friends and family are. Um, strangers helped me out more than anybody I knew or was related to, blood relatives. Um, the next series, I guess you could call it, of videos um, is where I start further down the spiral. Um, you would think everything would be on the up, but um, yeah, I figured November 22nd. Most places have already hired their seasonal workers, so they're not looking for any kind of full-time help. Um, Christmas, I had no money, broke, nothing. Could barely put gas in the car, ever. Tried to borrow money from people, uh, see if people would <laughs> like donate a couple bucks to me trying to help, help, trying to help me find a job by giving me a little bit of gas money. Um, yeah, no, didn't happen really. Um, ran out of gas a few times. Um, and, uh, so yeah, and then, um, after that began COVID. Even, uh, people that had jobs were getting laid off or let go. And, um, it became like a freak show. Uh, everybody is scared of everybody. Won't go anywhere. Stay away from me. Masks, uh, gloves, the whole nine. Um, and uh, business is closing early. Um, <laughs> not supposed to be out on the roads or going anywhere. Um, crazy. Uh, absolutely crazy. A lot of people lost their minds over this. And I actually kind of lost a little bit of respect for some people over how um, absolutely out of their mind and mean they became during this whole thing. Um, very mean. People got very, very mean. Um, and, uh, it's now June, mm, 13th, 14th, uh, 13th, and, uh, People are still wearing masks. Businesses are still closed early. Uh, people are still let go, laid off, whatever. So hopefully everything gets back to normal soon. Um, I didn't get a stimulus check because uh, I didn't file taxes the last two years. And uh, 2017, um, Fat Fuck Todd uh, used my social security number and information to have at least one paid employee on his books because he had to and uh, so he could pretty much cash the check in my name, uh, get the money and only pay taxes. So I have one check and I have to file that before I can uh, do 18 and 19 so I can try to get the stimulus check. So, you know, you'd think that like the poorest people like you know, I get Medicaid, so, hey, I exist. And uh, you, you would think that maybe, maybe they would.
would consider me as, you know, being a poor person and uh, send me a check. Since I've lived this whole time, like, bottom of the barrel, it's so wonderful that I have power in a car, but I got no money, I got no food, I got no way to do anything. Uh, I'm still waiting on my weed whacker. I had to um, put in a request to the district attorney's office to get that back from uh, when I got beat up by that guy, Chris, um, and he tried to steal it. Um, and uh, <laughs> the paperwork says that they have to uh, let him know before they can give it to me and see if he wants to debate it, whether I should get it back or whether it's his or anything like that. I have the receipt and, and the original paperwork with it, so whatever. Um, that's crazy. And uh, life is still crazy. But I'm hoping for it to calm down soon. Got some changes in my life, and uh, I'm going to be positive about it. I feel positive about it. Um, Dave is a fucking miserable, bitter, fucking douchebag asshole, piece of shit, heartless, um, soulless, uh, freak of nature, narcissist. If you can put narcissism and borderline together, mm-hmm. I think he may be cluster B. The way that he's treated me and talked to me is, uh, he should be ashamed of himself. He's contemptuous for no reason. Todd's lies and all that crazy shit and who knows what else. Um, he's called me some of the worst names in the world. You know, no integrity, no class, no dignity. Um, I'll never be anything more than what I am now. Um, uh, and the newest word that he used for me was revolting. Everything that motherfucker says about me. He's just projecting from himself. I've never been treated like that before in my life. And I'm, um, definitely not feeling the same anymore. You know, there's still feelings. I mean, there probably always will be. It's a very horrible experience I went through. Devastating. Um, life-changing for sure. And, um, I can't wait till he's no longer in my mind. And I gotta go through these stages of grief. I watched a video today. Um, Michelle, someone, she does, a uh, life coach videos, um, I wish I could remember what her name is, but, um, she said seven stages of grief after a narcissist, and, uh, I absolutely can relate to it, and I think I've gone through every one of those stages, um, to some degree, and I'm now finalizing through the discard, <laughs> as they call it, which is so true, it's a final discard, um, I've, I've, I'm going through them. Stage five right now, so I can't wait to get through it all. I don't want to remember this. I know I always will, but what I mean really is that I don't want to feel it anymore. You should just continue being the piece of shit, fucking heartless, <laughs> soulless, um, contemptuous asshole that he is. And, uh, I'll get through it. I asked him for some closure, just one last face-to-face, -face, hello, goodbye, um, and I would go away forever. He would never see me pass his house, he would never see a call from me, he would never, never have to even think of me again, and he won't do it. 